How would you explain JavaScript closures to someone with a knowledge of the concepts they consist of, for example, functions, variables, and the like, but does not understand closures themselves? I have seen the scheme example given on Wikipedia, but unfortunately it did not help. A closure is a pairing of a function and a reference to that function's out-of-scope lexical environment. A lexical environment is part of every execution context stack frame and is a map between identifiers, i.e. local variable names and values. Every function in JavaScript maintains a reference to its outer lexical environment. This reference is used to configure the execution context created when a function is invoked. This reference enables code inside the function to see variables declared outside the function, regardless of when and where the function is called. If a function was called by a function, which in turn was called by another function, then a chain of references to outer lexical environments is created. This chain is called the scope chain in the following code. It forms a closure with the lexical environment of the execution context created when foo is invoked. Closing over variable secret. In other words, in JavaScript, functions carry a reference to a private box of state to which only they and any other functions declared within the same lexical environment have access. This box of the state is invisible to the caller of the function, delivering an excellent mechanism for data hiding and encapsulation. And remember, functions in JavaScript can be passed around like variables first class functions, meaning these pairings of functionality and state can be passed on your program, similar to how you might pass an instance of a class around in C++. If JavaScript did not have closures, then more states would have to be passed between functions explicitly, making parameter lists longer and code noisier. So, if you want a function to always have access to a private piece of state, you can use a closure. And frequently, we do want to associate the state with a function. For example, in Java or C++, when you add a private instance variable and a method to a class, you are associating the state with functionality. In C and most other common languages, after a function returns, all the local variables are no longer accessible because the stack frame is destroyed. In JavaScript, if you declare a function within another function, then the local variables of the outer function can remain accessible after returning from it. In this way, in the code above, secret remains available to the function object inner. After it has been returned from foo, uses of closures. Closures are useful whenever you need a private state associated with a function. This is a very common scenario, and remember, JavaScript did not have a class syntax until 2015, and it still does not have a private field syntax. Closures meet this need. Private instance variables in the following code. The function toString closes over the details of the car. Functional programming in the following code. The function inner closes over both fin and args. Event-oriented programming in the following code. Function onClick closes over variable background underscore color modularization in the following example. All the implementation details are hidden inside an immediately executed function expression. The functions tick and toString close over the private state and functions they need to complete their work. Closures have enabled us to modularize and encapsulate our code. Examples. Example 1. This example shows that the local variables are not copied in the closure. The closure maintains a reference to the original variables themselves. It is as though the stack frame stays alive in memory even after the function exits. Example 2 in the following code, three methods log, increment, and update all close over the same lexical environment. And every time create a object is called, a new execution context stack frame is created. And a completely new variable x, and a new set of functions log etc. are created. That close over this new variable, example 3 if you are using variables declared using var. Be careful you understand which variable you are closing over. Variables declared using var are hoisted. This is much less of a problem in modern JavaScript due to the introduction of let and const. In the following code, each time around the loop, a new function inner is created, which closes over i. But because var i is hoisted outside the loop, all of these inner functions close over the same variable, meaning that the final value of i3 is printed three times. Final points. Whenever a function is declared in JavaScript closure is created, returning a function from inside another function is the classic example of closure.
because the state inside the outer function is implicitly available to the returned inner function, even after the outer function has completed execution. Whenever you use evil inside a function, a closure is used. The text you evil can reference local variables of the function and in the non-strict mode. You can even create new local variables by using evil var foo equals. When you use new function, the function constructor inside a function. It does not close over its lexical environment. It closes over the global context instead. The new function cannot reference the local variables of the outer function. A closure in JavaScript is like keeping a reference, not a copy, to the scope at the point of function declaration, which in turn keeps a reference to its outer scope, and so on, all the way to the global object at the top of the scope chain. A closure is created when a function is declared. This closure is used to configure the execution context when the function is invoked. A new set of local variables is created every time a function is called links Douglas Crockford's simulated private attributes and private methods for an object using closures. A great explanation of how closures can cause memory leaks in IE if you are not careful. MDN documentation on JavaScript closures, the beginner's guide to JavaScript closures.